Well viewers, I'm extremely happy. These are uh, 8 of the 10 emails meters I just scored and the best part is the serial numbers 1 to 1, 8, 8, 8, 9, 90, 91, 92, 93 and 4 are sitting upstairs, 95 and 99 so they all have been in the same batch. I scored these uh, beauties and uh, have a look here. One of my colleagues at work, Juanita, donated me this nice sharp microwave for the transformer and I got this one from my friend Robert from the fire station in Old Phillips so uh, yeah we're going to take the parts out of those devices and uh, use them for high voltage experiments got the uh, old DDOs uh, on the use for experiments and uh, yeah another TV I got given too uh, updating the garden, I've done uh, built a big raised box flower box uh, oh for edibles, whatever capsicums and things and topsoil and compost and stuff and all the mulch and the niches from that uh, pulp exercise I did last year shredding all these tree branches so yeah that will probably feature in some of the videos at some stage I'd like to thank all the new subscribers uh, which have uh, joined uh, really appreciated all the support uh, yeah most of my videos are electrical but there are also sometimes some domestic activities in there like some electrical projects I'm doing uh, a bit of gardening and uh, some shit up you know. this is true beauty this oh wow all meters was pulse output all the SDMP and uh, is the E version and this is a different one this is 2.5 to 15 ampere and that's the SDMPH. Larry will know about these types. And then my AEG meter from Germany finally arrived after I've gone to New Zealand and back to Germany. And then the seller he told me the parcel came back, so he had to repost it again. Post office stuffed up here, but uh, it arrived. And uh, I'll show you that shortly. Jarbera flowers, pink and uh, white one. Same, uh, same, and a yellow one too, in the same uh, stamp. As I said, he had a 93 and a 94, which are still sitting on the electric heating circuit. They've clocked up a few units and they're still pulsing away, so yeah, really cool. I could have said it doesn't turn, but it, the, the turntable does, so I'll do the Rodalco test and uh, see actually if it works or it doesn't work. Shit, I dropped one of the lamps too, oh, not to worry. Part of the fun. Crack our Dalco test, see if it works. A sodium lamp. I said the magnet one didn't work, it's not working. Okay, I've taken most of the screws out. It's usually not a bad idea to use some gloves as well because these metal pieces are often quite uh, sharp. So, yeah, let's see how we go. Unwrapping time. Some other blood clip on you. There you go. And this is the stuff we're after. Here is the transformer, microwave, and the condensator, the capacitor. The cooling fan is handy too for certain things. Yep. Let's take it apart. The leads are usually quite good to use for things and uh, these little filter, mains filters are pretty handy too sometimes for de-spiking. Oh, it breaks off, that doesn't matter. It's got a good test lead here. Here we got the motor, good cooling motors for a little uh, cooling your microwave transformers when they get uh, overloaded. Oh yeah, we've got all the parts, assembled cooling fan, Turntable motor, the micro switches, which are probably useful. The transformer, 240 volts, 2.2 kV. Here's the magnetron. This is probably stuffed, but it doesn't matter. And uh, the con condenser capacitor, 1.13 microfarad, 2300 volts AC, so that's pretty good. And here we got the old Philips, 650 watts output. Uh, specification plates, yeah. This is an old beast, so it's probably uh, well built. Let's take it apart. 
As you can see this is a little bit different layout, it's a Marquee from probably the early 80s. So yeah, it looks a little bit different, a bit more discrete components in here. For example, look at the big IC on the timer, which is completely different than on the newer ones. And uh, yeah, the voltage uh, filtering, sparking. Actually, the microwave transformer and it's a separated transformer, probably for the control circuit. Just now, I noticed this uh, nice uh, discrete TO3 voltage regulator, the UA7805 KC, so that's a 5 volts regulator of its. Uh, the way the wires go, they seem to go into the clock circuits. So. Nice old technology, beautiful. I like the way this capacitor is put in a little pillow casing. Just a uh, yeah, plastic uh, seal wrap around it, really cool. Uh, cooling fan. Eily! The thing that's really noticeable on this older microwave is that the wiring is a lot thicker, a bit heavier gauge wire. Um, it's at least 0.5 to 1 mil in size compared with the like uh, 0.2 mil or so on these newer microwaves. So. Yeah, cost cutting. Classic Philips logo. Interesting old tire resto on the base. And then another round cylinder thing, which I don't know. The timer boards, I may have no use for it, but it's got uh, invented capacitors. That's quite cool. And here we got a capsule, buzzer type thing, I think. And this is the small transformer. And in the microwave, that's just quite interesting to see. This is a discrete uh, shaded pole motor with an open gearbox for the drive instead of the little micro motors um, like these, which you see in a more modern microwave. So, yeah, just a proper uh, analog uh, or electromechanical device. Here's a bit of a comparison of the two microwave transformers. Um, this left one came out of a 1200 watt sharp. And this one comes out of a 650 watt Philips, and uh, there's quite a bit of difference. So the rating is really related on the output of the actual magnetron, I think. So the 650 watts transformer is bigger than the 1200 watt. Although from my electrical experience, a transformer this size is usually about 500 VA. I want it rating 5-600 VA. So yeah. And again, in comparison, again um, here we got an. Uh, Inverter transformer that's a lot smaller. And that came out of a Cascade microwave 1100 watts. So, yeah, and a couple of good power leads that can be used. So, yeah, the empty cases they all look on the scrap steel bin, so get rid of those things. That's the other casing. No use for it. Video can go as well. So, yeah, a bit of cleanup. Yeah. These things are quite cool. They, uh, the show, you get these by the Z or Shell station. The uh, uh, little uh, dull to art, how do you call them? Uh, square heads. Really cool. I've got 11, I still need 5 to go of these. So, yeah, excellent. Joker and uh, Batman, and yeah, I don't know all the names, but really cool. Brilliant schematic on the inside of the Philips. Anybody who got an old Philips like this? There you go. So today was a bit more of a Rainbow Electronic update with all the stuff and uh, just gonna unpack the German meter shortly and then I'll close this video for the day. So hope you all enjoyed it. Uh, there's definitely gonna be some sparks and uh, other things happening in the foreseeable future. Thanks for watching for now. Cheers! thing I forget to mention to Larry, uh, this is the original email seals on the meter. I remember when we bought these meters or similar meters in the early 90s, email always put a seal around the meter. So all, this, all the three uh, terminal uh, cover uh, screws here. Yeah, so that's the way they used to seal the meters. So these meters have never been touched uh, after the manufacturer test them, tested these. So yeah, that's the way they're sealed. If this, that seal has been removed and single seals out on the local power company uh, would have probably done a calibration test. This, this is someone who knows how to pack things properly. Box. And then another box. And then uh, wrapping paper, bubble stuff, airbags, wrappers, foam. 
and we've got uh, yeah, a lot of soft material around the meter. This sort of well traveled meter did actually uh, try and do it again. Went around the world twice. And I'll put the camera on hold. Okay, I've unwrapped it, and here we go again. This is a uh, very old AEG LJC meter. Three digits, and it got a reverse running rotation. That is the cool part of this particular meter. 1920 something. eBay, he did an excellent job of wrapping the thing up, so I'm going to send him some feedback on that, of course. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Let's put it here. Dion's yeah, camera. Excellent meter. This will feature in a new video very shortly. Thanks for watching.